Hi, my name is Roxanne Wright, and today I'm going to show you how to make a graduation invitation. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download this file. Once you download, you're going to want to open it. Here it is. And then you'll drop down the folder. I'll say Chevron Patterns. And you'll also open up your applications. So we'll do a new finder window. We'll go to Applications, Photoshop, and then we'll drop it down. And then you'll go to where it says Presets right here. Scroll down to Patterns. And then you'll just drag and drop this file right in. I already installed it. Okay. So, your final result will look something like this and I've included all the files that you'll need to complete it. So, we'll go File New, and we're going to call it Graduation, we'll just call it a Grad Invite. We'll make it in inches, we'll make it a four, four by six. And make sure it's 300 DPI if you plan to get it printed. If you don't want to get it printed, make it 72 DPI. This way it's, it's smaller so you can send it on the web. Alright, so here you go. You'll have a blank canvas when you open it. Now, first thing you want to do, make sure that this is set to black to white by clicking this. And put your white as the foreground. Grab the rectangle tool and just make a giant white rectangle over the top. When you make the rectangle, make sure you extend out over the edges just so you're completely certain that you don't miss any spots on this canvas. Alright, now that you have the patterns installed, you can come down here in the layers panel, you'll see an FX symbol, and click on that and go to pattern overlay. Now there's a couple different chevrons you can choose from. But I'm going to use this kind of like tannish gray one. I will just click on it and push OK. You can make it lighter if you want, just double click on this. And you can turn down the opacity so it's not as bright, it's kind of has more of a gray to it. But I'm going to leave it at 100%. I want it to be powerful. You can also make it bigger if you want your chevrons to be a lot bigger. But be careful when you expand stuff like this because it will look grainy if it's too big, but small shouldn't really matter. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to import a frame. I have this file down at the bottom for you. Let me import it, so file, place. It should be in your recent downloads. Here we go, invite frame green. All right. So, to change the size, because you might want to make it bigger or smaller or stretch it out in different ways, push Command and T, or if you're on PC, Control T, and then you can shrink it so it's not so close to the edges. You can stretch it so you have some more space, and bam. But what you're really going to want to make sure is that you have your rulers turned on. So go to View Rulers and then drag this out to the two marker and make sure that the points in your frame match up with this blue line. That way you're completely certain it's center. Mine's just a hair off center. So I'll push Command T and then I'll use my little arrows and move it till it's just right. All right, and then if you wanna get rid of the lines, you can do View Clear Guides and then they're gone. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you'll type your name. The font that I'm going to use is called HoneyScript, and I added a link to that down at the bottom. So I'll write my name. Oops. Let me make sure that it's the same color as your chevron. And to do that, you just double click here and you'll click on your chevron symbol. 
So now it's the same color. Now I'll type my name. And I want to make it bigger. So again, I'll push Command T or Control T. And I'll make it a decent size. And I'll move it with my arrow keys. Bam. Now, the next thing you need to do is add a new layer. And to add a new layer, you'll go over here on your right side and you'll click on the icon that looks kind of like a post it note. And then come over here to your left and click on the line tool. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure that this color, double click on it, is set to your chevrons color. So all you do is just once you double click this box will appear and you use your eyedropper and click on that right there. Bam. Now go over here and create a new layer and to make a straight line what you'll do is you'll push shift on your keyboard and then drag it straight across. And then if you want to move it down you can again just push control or command T and just tap it down. Feel it's too close. So there you go. Now you can add your school name. So we can put University of Awesome Class of 2012 and then we'll pick it up and move it so you'll just grab your transform tool right here and you can just pick it up and move it now I don't really like this typeface because it's the same one as that one above it so we'll make it a sans serif so just double click on it to select everything and we'll go to century gothic make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller than that Bam. All right. So you'll notice that this is a little high in this frame. All this stuff's a little bit too far up. So we can move that down pretty simply. So you'll go over here and you'll push control and click on each layer except for your first layer right here and your second layer. These two unclick command click or control click on these top three right here and then you just grab your transform tool and you can just pick it up and move them all down at the same time alright so this is done right here the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna make a new layer and you'll go to your rectangle tool and all you have to do is click right here hold it down and this box will appear and you click on your rectangle and change this color to be this color here this green there you go now you can just drag it in make sure that you go over the sides of your image that way you're completely sure that it's on there and you won't have any white streaks from there not being anything there. Alright, now create a new layer, post-it note down here. Grab your text tool and change this color to the color of your chevron by double clicking it. This eyedropper will appear and you can just pick up the color. Change the font. So we'll make we'll put in a box here. Make sure you give it some space around the edges because when you get it printed, they usually cut off about an eighth of an inch. So if your text is too close to either of these outside areas, it's going to get cut off. So go up here and go to Century Gothic for consistency. So it matches this one right here. And then you'll type in your information. Please join us for a barbecue to congratulate. Again, I'm a terrible speller. 
our daughter, Roxanne, on her oops, graduation, and then do a date, so June, I don't know, we'll do Sunday, June 30th, 2012, from 5 till 10 p.m. Then you give them your address, my house. One, two, three, four, five, Awesome Street. Awesomeville, Florida. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you want to have an RSVP, you can put RSVP by Sunday, June 15th, 2012. Now, if you'll notice, it kind of looks a little flat. If you want this and this to stand out all just a hair more, what you want to do is select this layer and go to Effects, Drop Shadow. And you could just do the generic drop shadow, but you can also make it lighter or darker. I'm going to go just a little lighter, about 54%. You can also make it go further down. Make it spread out more. Or increase the size. Put it OK. And then you just do the same thing to your frame right here, your invite frame. Go to FX, drop shadow. And I'm going to put it at 54 like the other one. And bam. There you go. Hope you enjoy.